Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to another video. First of all, Happy New Year and all the best for 2022. I'm hoping it will be a great year without the troubles we've had with uh, 2020 and 2021. And may there be lots of electronics in your life for this year. Now, let's get started with this rather small post back. But it's a post back I still want to uh, share with you. Because in my last post back with with because in my last post back, which was the last video of 2021, I uh, unboxed a, a battery charger, a coin cell battery charger, and this post back should have the batteries for that coin charger. So let's actually just unbox. Uh, let's do this one. Let's do this one first. Uh, oh, I haven't seen such a sticker. Apex CE Specialist Limited, Unit 3D North, Point House North, Point Business Park, Ireland. Okay, so this is from China, but supposedly it's linked to a business in Ireland. I'm not sure if you can hear that plane, but there's a, a plane going over my head. I'm sorry about that. But so this is a solid state relay. Again, I thought these things are always useful to have laying around. So I bought a solid state relay. Nothing fancy, just your regular solid state relay. So it's a, I think it's 25 amps. Yeah, 25 DC amps from 24 to 300 from 24 to 380 volts AC and it's controlled by a 3 to 32 volts DC signal now that was the mistake I made last time when uh, building my uh, yet another reflow oven I purchased a um, I think it's a AA yeah I think it's an AA model and you're supposed to put AC on the, the, the control terminals and not DC. So, yeah, I, that wasn't of any use for me. So I needed a new one. But that was uh, in the past. So, yeah, so it's really always nice. Now, let's do this one. There have been a lot of packages uh, that have been in transit for a rather long time. So I think... That this, yeah, that's it. Hey, these are the coin cells. Finally, so I ordered the coin cells because my digital caliper was dying, and I thought, well, uh, the batteries are dying rather quick, so I must need to do something about that. But I think I installed a new battery and it turns out that my digital caliper is still not working. So I think my digital caliper is just dead. So let's remove these from the packaging. So 3.6 volts. It's a Lear 2016 lithium ion battery. And it, although it doesn't list it on the battery itself, these should be rechargeable. So I've got my charger ready to go. So that's, uh, oh, it does light up. So we haven't had that before. So that's universal charger. So it, yeah, it lights up. Uh, let's see if I can arrange the power situation over here. Just like last time, there's the power. So this off, let's put this in now. Let's hope that nothing explodes. Yeah, it seems to be charging. Are you able to see that? 
I don't think you are. I have to see it now. It seems to be charging. So I'll just keep this in the in the in the socket and yeah. We'll see what it does, right? Let's actually continue. So it remains away with this package. Now this is one that I've also been waiting for very patiently, well actually impatiently. And this will be um, the start of a new video uh, that I'm wanting to create for a rather long time as it also benefits my life. And there you go. These are little lithium ion batteries. Now I'm glad that I actually did separate the positive and the negative wires. That's really a really clever thing to do. Oh, and they include a battery management system as well. I think yeah, it does. I can see some electronics at the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see it. You can see some electronics at the bottom side. So, yeah, these are 200 milliamp hour lithium ion batteries. So, yeah, they're not uh, for the for the most heaviest use, but yeah, they're suitable for my use case and I will definitely use them. Maybe I'll even use two of these because why not I think that they should fit so but certainly I'll keep you guys updated since this is rather interesting I've never worked with uh, these batteries before and they always look quite curious you know the, the flat package and I mean how is this a battery you know yeah it's just layers stuck on top I know that but how can this supply energy yeah, the chemical reaction, I know, but still, you get the point, I hope. And if you don't, well, yeah, you don't get the point. Sorry. So let's put these apart safely. Actually, let's use the battery Ziploc bags from the coin cells. So we can just do this. Yeah, that's better. That's the, the down, the, that's the downside of these batteries. They have equal length uh, wires attached to them. So if you don't uh, make sure that they don't touch, they might accidentally touch. So now this is the final piece of the mailbag. I know it's a rather short mailbag, but again, we've got a couple of update things. Uh, and. This one, I, I came across this one on a electronics channel and I didn't really know what it was, but supposedly this allows you to uh, insert screws into screw terminals with uh, much higher uh, yeah, confidence that they won't really slip out once you actually uh, insert them and that all the strands are actually connected. So instead of soldering the wire, um, pre-tinning the wire before you actually insert it into the uh, screw terminal. You just cramp one of these things on and that should well be much better, I was told. So let's find a way to remove this tape. And preferably uh, piece not just pieces let's see yeah there you go so yeah these I'm not sure how you'd call these I think they're called spade connectors but yeah you insert a wire into this thing and then you crimp it and it should fit well let's actually try it so the way that you'd use these is to, yeah, actually, I'm going to shorten this a little. Get some wires that you want to attach to a screw terminal. And you also need this crimping tool. Well, you can actually do it with a, a desk wrench as well, I think. 
or maybe just a caliper, something sharp, but not sharp as in it cuts through it. Then actually grab the spade terminal and you just basically shove it over it. Make sure to insert it all the way. And actually it's quite difficult with this small wire. And then you'd want to pinch it in between this section. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do this from bottom up. Look. So let's actually convert this into a spade terminal device. And yeah, they, these two will not come out of the screw terminal. It's just, yeah, it's really good. And I also did a, a larger cable over here. And these are damn solid. These are really, really working out well. They don't work particularly well with smaller cables. They do work with smaller cables, but the best grip you still get from using a good quality cable that's actually being inserted into the uh, spade terminal and yeah of course you also need a decent quality screw terminal now these are just from aliexpress so yeah just the quality yourself i find them pretty good but again wires were slipping out of the screw terminal but i am pulling as hard as i can on this thing and they are not going anywhere so this is a definite upgrade for your electronics lab and I consider this a must not sure why it took me so long to get these but they are excellent and I really recommend them to anyone now let's actually uh, go back and check out what the charger did uh. To untangle some of the wiring. There we go. And it says it's full. Well, okay, then we suppose that they're full. I'm, I'm not sure uh, which battery it's displaying when. You know, there are two batteries in here. Is, is it charging them both at the same time with the same voltage or it's you know how do you select between different displays so it says that this one is charged up to 50 percent but it just said that it was uh, fully charged so same for this one 50 percent or even less actually let's insert it now it's charged to 100%. I really don't believe that. Uh, let's actually uh, take out the, the multimeter and measure them. So 3.6 volts. I would expect it to be just around 3.6 volts actually. Four point two. Oh yeah, they're charged. they are charged so that's really cool now let's insert one of them in the digital caliper and see if they if it works so yeah again you see it's not working i turn it on and it's not working it is working uh, in direct sunlight so the solar panel is still working oh. Ta -da! it just turned on did I put the battery in the wrong side silly me did I I guess I did but Let's measure this battery first, because 4.2 volts is rather high 
for a three fold digital caliper. What? 1.1 volts. Yeah, it turns off immediately when we cover the solar panel. So, yeah, well, let's just actually see what happens, right? Yeah, this is working. Nice. This is working really good. So, yeah, I'm glad I bought those. Because this is what I want. I want rechargeable batteries for my digital caliper. Because these are rather hard to find. And they'll go down pretty quickly. So, again, I'm using a... 4.2 volt battery inside a 3 volt lithium um, compatible battery CR2016 I'm just using these uh, Lure uh, 2016 and they seem to work fine I mean the caliper is working right silly me that I just had put in the battery wrong side facing down alright well never mind now I'm also curious if this solar panel will actually charge the battery or if it just provides, you know, uh, alternative power. If it will combine two and then power the digital caliper with both the solar panel and the battery. Or if it will actually charge the battery. So that's what I'm going to keep an eye on. And I'll probably post that on Instagram or something. So please stay tuned on my Instagram. It's Tim's Electronics Lab. And you will find all, some, all sorts of... Uh, of stuff over there so I think that this wraps it up for this video so guys thanks for watching uh, again best wishes for 2022 and I hope to see you around next time very soon bye oh hey hello uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here well if you want you can also view two other videos of me so make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.